So our firm tracks uh, issues trends in food and agriculture. We've been tracking this for over 20 years. We look at who's creating the messages, what are the messages, uh, and how they impact uh, producers and everyone in the food chain's ability to participate, to produce their products, what tools they can use, what, how they can sell it, what the market will pay for it. And we've been tracking advocacy initiatives that seek to influence public attitudes about food production issues for that entire period. And what we've seen is today, in 2016, this is one of the periods of most, the most intense advocacy focusing on how farmers produce foods, trying to convince consumers that certain methods are better than others. Um, there's literally hundreds of millions of dollars being spent to influence public attitudes about this every year. In fact, there's billions of dollars being spent globally on this. And what we've seen is there were attacks on pesticides. There have been attacks on genetically modified organisms, GMOs. Attacks on animal production and the use of antibiotics. We've all heard and seen these. Right now, we're seeing a consolidation of these issues. And the focus is on conventional production and high yield production itself. Um, and, <laughs> sorry. And, um, and this focus on high yield production, uh, commodity agriculture, they're coming at it from the intersection point of water and how that impacts water. And they're creating victims here of people who have to pay more to clean water that they're claiming has been damaged by the food production and, and agriculture without even taking any consideration into mind for the fact that we all need food to eat uh, and we need agriculture to produce that food. Um, there's very little balance to it. Uh, water is going to be the next big battlefront. Uh, today in the U.S., it's GMO labeling. Uh, very quickly, that's going to turn around to be issues associated with water and it's going to affect every aspect of conventional production.